This is a 100% all electric snowmobile. No gas, no transmission, just all motor and battery. And I got to test drive it on the farm and had a blast, but I also had some problems. Release the Quacken! <laughs> So we got a warm but wet one here today. It's about 39 degrees and rainy right now. You know, Abby, I hope today's weather doesn't ruin the plan that I had because I got a couple of folks who are coming to visit the farm today. And this should make for a pretty cool video. They have electric snowmobiles and they're gonna let me test it out. I'm kind of thinking about an electric snowmobile for the farm because there's so much of the farm it's hard to access this time of year without snowshoes. And if I'm thinking about keeping cattle in different parts of the farm over the winter next year, I might need something like that. Isn't that right, Abby? And yes. Toby. How are you two doing today? Huh? Oh, give him kisses. Abby, you are doing such a good job with all the birds here. You are settling into this guard dog life. That's for dang sure. It's so wet this morning. I didn't even want to strap her harness on for her training just because it would get gross. You know, it's funny though. The birds definitely know when it's a nice day. You can see them immediately go out towards the pasture. The ducks were hoping they could go swimming in the pond. It's been too cold lately for it to have melted yet, but they definitely feel the sense of spring coming. Abby, you don't even know what to expect when spring hits. It's gonna be interesting. Well, let's see if she tries to go on the pond. I hope she's okay. Toby knows better not to go on the pond this time of year. I'm not so sure about Abby. But I mean, yeah, when you think about our farm, right? There's such vast reaches that I never get to go on because it's all covered in snow this time of year. Abby, sit, sit, hey, sit, sit. Good girl, good girl. That's the way you respond to crazy geese, you just sit, yes. Toby's like, I don't have time for this nonsense today. Or maybe just a little bit. <laughs> How are you doing, geese? You're starting to lay pretty regularly now. I feel like we're finally gonna start hatching gooses soon. That's a good sign, isn't it, Abby? Just wait until you see the goslings. You're gonna find them adorable. Wet. Abby and Toby get a little energy out before I try to do my training session this morning with Abby. It makes me so happy watching them play. Come on, guys, stay away from the birds. If you're gonna play, you gotta play over here. It's not a bad thing if working dogs play. They just need to have certain places and context where they can play, like over here. I just don't want them like accidentally trampling a duck. Toby's about 100 plus pounds and Abby's, I don't know, maybe about 50 now, 45. It's a lot of weight compared to a 10 pound, eight pound duck. It's all slushy today, isn't it? It's a little warmer than you're used to now. All right, you guys hungry? You want some food? Or are you gonna keep playing? <laughs> oh, Toby wants to keep playing. Abby has definitely brought out the playful side of Toby. You know, Toby used to try to play with the cats, but they really did not have any appetite for that whatsoever. But now he's got exactly the right type of playmate for him. I think it's good for both dogs, actually. <laughs> Look at all that doggy energy combined with all this goose energy. Surprisingly very unchaotic. Abby, what are you doing up there, huh? What are you doing? Get down, get down, down. Hey, no, down. All right, we're gonna feed you. Hey, Abby, come here. Blanche, what are you doing? Get out of here, out of here. There you go, girl. What do you think about that, Molly? Kind of interesting, huh? It's actually a cod skin. A viewer sent it to us and I've been using it as a snack treat for the dogs and cats lately. They really seem to love it. Toby, you like that cod skin too. I know, you devoured the one I gave you last night. Molly's really chomping in there though. Now I've switched to feeding Mr. Toby Dog only once a day in an attempt to keep the cats from eating all of his food. You know, Toby is such a slow eater that like, unless he's hungry, he doesn't seem to want to like eat it. And so oftentimes he'll like leave large chunks of his morning portion ignored. So no breakfast for Toby this morning, but you do get this cod skin, so enjoy it, buddy. Here you go, birds. <laughs> Turn this snowmobile on 
from the dead, you just click it once. Mm -hmm. Pull up on the kill switch, yeah. it's already up. Mm -hmm. You click the green button once, you see how the numbers are blue? Yep. That means it's in drive. In order to put it in reverse, you need to be in drive, and then you press the button here. Sounds good? Cool, sounds yeah. good. All right, let's give this a shot. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's so fast. What's incredible is it's got like no ramp up. It's like you just press go and you go. This is incredible. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe how easy this is to use and how quiet it is. to admit I'm really liking this. This thing is awesome. I mean, wow. <laughs> it's like stealthy as all get out too. So the thing I think about like this for is mm -hmm. if I were to keep my cattle like back over here somewhere versus like inside the barn like yeah. I do now, how would I get to see them in the winter and how do I get up there? I could easily see like taking this and like driving out there and not spooking them. That's what I see as like the cool thing about this. Sorry about that. It happens. It just whoop. Are you okay? I'm fine, yeah, yeah. How heavy is this thing? Uh, 700. 700 pounds. pounds. Okay. <laughs> I went like a foot forward and just went whoop. One, two, two. One, two. One, two, three. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sorry, little camera. No Sorry. harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. All right. Oh, good. This is actually pretty hard riding in here, to be honest. Because so, there's not a lot of snow through it. Yeah. Back, so, yeah. It's not forgiving. This guy's a pro. Yeah. It's, uh, it's too mushy and yeah. pretty brushy. Well. Yeah. I'm such a dingus. <laughs> I wanted to check out this area today because I think this is probably the source of a natural spring that could probably be developed at some point. I mean, look at all the animal traffic that you see over here. Like everybody's coming and going to this spot. It's already all melted. There's lots of water. This spot is usually so marshy around the farm. I just assume that it's either there or maybe it's over here or over here, but somewhere in here, I feel like is a potential spring, or maybe I just drill a well that's super shallow. I think about wanting to get water to the cattle. This is such a good spot because I could be gravity fed to a lot of different parts of the farm. Could even go down towards the ducks and geese. I could even make a feed to fill the pond if I wanted to, even as I'm standing around here. Like super, super <laughs> mushy. I'm just sinking. Look at that. That's a lot. I mean, I know we're in the middle of a melt, but that's a lot of water in there. This would suggest to me, this is the ultimate spot to build a new spring. And even if I'm thinking about where I want to keep my cattle next winter, they are 200 yards that way, it would go. 
right downhill. So it could easily be a gravity fed pipe that I run that has constant water flow, which would keep it from freezing. I could probably water my cattle next year without any electricity, except for maybe the help of this electric snowmobile. All right, back on the road. On the road again. By the way, this is so much fun just hanging out and tooling around like this. Like in the summer months, I will do this sort of thing with the ATV or the side-by-side -side and just drive around. I love doing that or walk, but you know, right now I can only do this by snowshoe, but wow, just to do this like on a nice sunny afternoon like this. Let's go. You tried sport mode? No, yeah, <laughs> I'm no. maybe a little scared. <laughs> We're in range. Yep. And so the only difference it really does is, um, you know, you've got a higher top speed, but we're not going very fast because yeah. it's a small area. But the throttle response is going to be a lot more um, quick to, to accelerate now. Come on, huh? Hey, Toby. How's it going, buddy? Kind of curious? I know. boy. <laughs> kind of crazy, huh? You like those things? Wow, look how high the snow is up here. Ordinarily, this is this fence is the same height as it is way down there, but got way more snow drifts up here. It is a beautiful day out here, Toby. Tell me about these snowmobiles. Like, what are they? Like, what's their deal? Like, what's so special about them? Yeah, I mean, they're fully electric. That's what makes them the most special, right? So this is first of its kind production electric snowmobiles. So we're a company based in Montreal. Uh, Everything here actually is made in Montreal. These, these machines are made in Montreal. Uh, Taiga represents the Borealis Northern Forest, as, as you already know, I think. So, you know, that's, that's what we're about, you know, enjoying the nature in a respectful and sustainable way. How much battery usage do you get out of these things? Yeah, so for what we were doing here today, you'd go all day, couple days, no problem. Uh, on trail settings, you'll get about 60 miles, but what we were doing was way easier than that, so they'll go for a long, long time. So you can recharge a couple different ways. There's level one, which is your household outlet that you can use. That's an overnight trap, uh, overnight charge. You could do level two, so 240 volts. That'll be two, three, four hours, depending on how low and how high you bring it. So three to four average. Uh, and you can even quick charge them uh, any EV charger uh, works on them too. So yeah, many different ways to charge them. In terms of like working with the cold, like one of the things I've always heard is like electric batteries don't do as well in like negative 20 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. Like what is it, what happens there? That's right. Well, we have something we call our thermal management system. Uh, and with that system, we both warm up and cool down the battery and motor. And with that system, it allows us to be as efficient, you know, if it's minus 20, minus 10, plus 10, you know, we've ran those in the summer, no problem. They'll overheat. So they're really, you know, versatile in that way and then in terms of maintenance like i'm terrified of having to do like maintenance work on a vehicle like this like what sort of maintenance would it have those to get one yeah so you're gonna have to maintain your peripherals so like check your suspension tension your track stuff like that uh, but there's a lot less maintenance for everything that has to do with the powertrain and the propulsion systems we don't have a cvt we don't have oil none of that stuff so for your motor transmission battery barely no maintenance so it's it's a big time saver and money saver as well so would i be able to tow a hay bale with something like this yeah no problem let's get technical a bit these electric motors have direct drive so we have no transmission that means as when we're pulling it's pulling right away on the track and on anything you're towing you can crawl which is super nice to break the friction if you're towing something heavy and these will tow up to you know 1100 pounds and the motor can give you 170 newton meters of torque from zero to 5000 rpm so it pulls really hard and really steadily and slowly if that's what you want
more spooked than I thought they would be. I was a little worried that the cattle would break loose and run away. <laughs> they don't like new or different things. I got to admit, on a nice sunny 50 degree afternoon like today, riding around on one of those electric snowmobiles is a lot of fun. <laughs> if I was making a list of things that I needed on the farm, spending $17,000 on a snowmobile would not be at the top of that list. But if I was just saying about the things that I would like to have someday, or if I had that list of toys that I'd wanna buy if I won the lottery, it would definitely be up there. But until that comes, I think I'm just gonna focus on the basics here on the farm and enjoy that memory. Abby, are you eating the slush? Abby dog, you got filthy today. I gotta admit. I mean, look at Abby right now. And look at Toby. Toby is the pristine white that you've come to expect of him. Abby is covered in schmutz. You're covered in schmutz, girl. What's up? What happened here? Actually, though, I don't know if you guys noticed. She's now been here, I don't know, almost two weeks. And she's clearly getting a thicker coat of hair. Like, that has grown out so much even from when she first arrived here two weeks ago. It's not anywhere near the long and luscious locks that Toby Dog's sporting right now, but she has got way more hair than she did even a week ago. Wow, look at that. Ugh, you're getting filthy. I'm gonna have to brush you out for the first time today. Yeah, girl, you're gonna get your first brush in. What do you think about that? You probably will like it because you're such a sweet pup. 